So I'm a manufacturing engineer of sheet metal parts, and I've received this sheet metal, what looks like a part, uh, here in SolidWorks. But uh, I'm seeing a lot of features, and uh, here are some sharp corners that uh, should be rounded. Um, this really looks more like an assembly, but it, it doesn't seem like it's structured like that. I'm really trying to learn a little bit about this part uh, in SolidWorks, and you can see here uh, the many features very complicated feature tree that I have. Um, you know, I've been asked to make this more manufacturable. Uh, I want to see if I can unbend it, but I, I can't find the unbend uh, functionality here right off the bat. And uh, I've also been asked to uh, modify this pocket, change the location. So let me go and edit that sketch. Wow, that's very complicated. I'm not really sure that uh, I know what I'm looking at here with this sketch here in SolidWorks. Uh, I just want to move that pocket, but there's quite a few dimensions. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to get out of this. And I, I think my best bet here is to is to bring this part, uh, as I'm looking at it more and thinking about this, to bring this into uh, Space Claim. Uh, space Claim, because just because it's just way too many features. And this is, uh, you know, too complicated a feature tree, and not even really set up like sheet metal. So here I'm, uh, I'm in Space Claim, and I'm just going to do File Open on this SolidWorks part. And let me see this drop down here. I have many parts I can open. I'm concerned here with this chassis part from SolidWorks, and voila, I open that part directly into Space Claim, and. Uh, as you can see, it's just solid geometry, not cluttered with uh, the, the cumbersome feature tree, uh, as you can see right here up to the left. Um, the first thing that I want to do uh, here is to remove what this looks like, this flange that's attached. Uh, and I can do that quickly just by using split body on this face. And you can now see in the structure tree I have two solids. So in an instant, I was able to turn this, this single solid into two solids, and I'm on my way to really turning this part into an assembly to make it more manufacturable. Uh, now what I want to do, and I'm going to do here, is sketch on this face quickly, quickly by entering into my sketch tool, sketch a couple circles, and what I'm, what I'm doing here is, is I'm going to select on these regions, and, and just by using pull, I can pull on these regions, and if I pull here towards me, I have made some solid geometry, but really I'm going to pull through and make a hole in both parts, and these will be alignment holes for um, for welding or Clico pins, so that I can uh, spot weld these two parts together, uh, helping in the manufacturing process. Now, what I also want to do here is uh, make this uh, uh, easier to manufacture, so I'm going to make an assembly out of this big piece. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, I can simply just add a plane here. And uh, by using Combine, I can just select on the part I want to split or cut into two using that plane anywhere I want. And notice here in the structure tree, I now have three solids, the left side, the right side, and that bracket, of course. But these are just three solids, so what I not need to do now is actually turn this into an assembly. And here in the structure tree, I can just create three new components and simply drag and drop each solid into its own component. And in a short time, I've now created an assembly of three components from what started as a single part that I imported in from SolidWorks. See, so yeah, I can freely move it around just like that. Now, I need a way to actually take these two new components, uh, the left and right side, and actually uh, make them so that I can attach them together. So what I want to do here is learn a little bit about this this new uh, this new part that I have. I can pull on its face and and extend it and make it shorter. Check out the help here, or I can uh, actually go to move and rotate. You can do all sorts of fun things in space claim uh, to what looks like uh, the solid geometry. And currently, you know, that's all it is here. We don't know much about uh, this part other than I can just easily work with it. 
if I select on if I select here on the component you can see here I can uh, by selecting on this component I'm just gonna scroll down here and you can notice that it's not uh, set up as a sheet metal part right now but if I uh, right click there and say set to sheet metal and and then I select here on the properties you can now see it is a sheet metal part with a thickness and, and a radius and a K factor so just like that I was able to import this part and actually recognize it as a sheet metal part and then now I can perform uh, sheet metal type modifications to this simply select on a wall and pull maybe here select on these registration balls or control points and pull up on this edge and just like that look at he split I have a uh, I have a wall that was pretty easy to do but you know it's not exactly the result I wanted so you know in space claim there's no problem I can just undo what I really want is to create a a Z bend here an overlap over the uh, the right side part so that I can have make an attachment mechanism just pull on that top edge pulling it towards me and look at that it automatically created an S bend fantastic now you notice I've turned off the other two components uh, just so I could easily work here on this component and uh, remember I said I had to also clean up some of the uh, the sharp edges so I can do that just here by selecting on each edge and uh, by pulling on that edge and quickly make a round and zoom in so you can see that a little bit better great now I'm just gonna turn on the visibility of of the other component here and let's just go right ahead and set that to sheet metal as well and um, now what I'm gonna do is actually enter into activate both of them now great I'm gonna actually enter into my cross-section view so anywhere on in this model I can make a virtual cross-section now I can interact with the model and actually see what's going on here and uh, enter into pull and select on this line and pull on that and you can see that this cross-section pulling on these these curves or lines actually influences uh, the 3D model. A great way to work uh, here in uh, 2D cross section. There, I no longer have that interference that uh, once existed uh, with these two new sheet metal parts. Fantastic. So look how easy that was. I was able to uh, split these parts, create an overlap, make an assembly. Now, uh, the other thing I needed to do here was actually move this pocket. Now let me just select on the pocket and just select on these holes too. We'll move those uh, as a group just by selecting on them. So what can I do? I can enter here into the move tool and just drag on this move handle and this pocket and holes will uh, dynamically update here in real time. That was easy. Hey, I've made quite a few changes. Uh, on this imported model. Now let's we have this other bracket here. Let's go ahead and set this to sheet metal as well. And um, we'll open this component in its own separate window, which we can do here in Space Claim. We can have multiple windows open, as you can see the different tabs at the bottom. And I uh, just select on it now and uh, what I'll do is unfold it. That was easy to find. Right mouse button unfold. And as I unfolded this part, it gave me the overall uh, height and width or width and length of uh, this part. And we have, with space claim, uh, full associativity. So let's see here, selecting on this top face and pulling up on it. Yes, on the right-hand side, you can see that the, uh, the flat pattern dimensions actually update as well. Boy, that was pretty easy here, uh, working in space claim uh, on this imported sheet metal part from, from SolidWorks. See, I started with a single part. Now I have an assembly. That was fun.